only way that we can get to a place where we can correct our mistakes is by facing a hard truth. Tonight, a community viewing of newly released video showing what happened before, during and after a man was repeatedly tased by Pittsburgh police and died the next day. Thanks for joining us at 11. I'm Ken Rice. Pittsburgh Mayor Ed Ganey was at a separate public event tonight, but Eric Stanish caught up with him there to get his reaction. Yeah, we asked Mayor Ed Ganey if the video should have been released sooner, seeing it's been more than two years since the incident happened. He had no comment. This is so disheartening. Police body and dash cam video released Monday for the first time in over two years. The graphic recordings showing the moments Jim Rogers was tased by police in October 2021 after he was accused of stealing a bike. Uh, yeah. Is this your wallet or not? No, no, no that there. Excuse uh, me. Uh, okay. Oh, yeah, what did I say? That's not my what did I say? Rogers can be heard saying, quote, I didn't do anything before he jumps up to run away and is tased. Jim was a good kid and that, it hurts me. During a public meeting, the community shed tears as they watched it for the first time tonight, watching as Rogers never got medical attention on the scene and as officers decided to take Rogers to Mercy Hospital, even though West Penn Hospital was just a couple of blocks away. Rogers arrived at Mercy unconscious and later died. Going all the way past West Penn Hospital, Shadyside Hospital, Presby, and then they go all the way to Mercy. This man could have been saved. Many questioning why it took so long for the video to be released. You should have done more to make sure that that video got out before you got your $8 million. Across the nation, Americans pay hundreds of millions of dollars for body cams and dash cameras for local police, but Pennsylvania's taxpayers rarely get to see what they pay for. Here, state law gives police options for releasing video, in some cases allowing district attorneys or the attorney general to decide. And while the law doesn't require police to release video, it doesn't prevent it either. Attorney Todd Hollis obtained a court order in this case, signed off by a judge to release the video. KDKA asked Mayor Ed Ganey if he believed it should have been released sooner. I don't have no comments on that. That's between the court and Todd and them. I don't have no comments on that. Absolutely. We'll, we're transparent. We'll stay transparent. You know that we've been transparent. But I'm only transparent on the things that I can control. That's out of my control, so I don't comment on things I don't control. The city of Pittsburgh released a statement on Tuesday in response to that video, saying the decision on whether or not to release the body cam footage to the public does not fall under the city's authority. Reporting in Pittsburgh, Erica Stanish, KDKA TV News.